Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on January the 14th. This is unconditional love. This is, there are no conditions. If it is unconditional love, we truly believe that. And then again, our behaviors will begin to follow our beliefs when we kind of steep in these words and allow it to transform our mind and our heart. We cannot receive when we have a clenched fist and we cannot receive in our heart when it is hurting, when it is protected, when we've placed all these walls around them. The culture says, hide your weaknesses, hide your emptiness. But our Heavenly Father says, I created you with a chasm of emptiness that can only be fully filled in my presence. So I want to bless you. I want to bless you with my peace. I want to bless you with my grace. Be still like a little flower in the sun in his light. Open up your mind. Open up your heart. I see the depths of your being. I see your brokenness. I see your pain. I see your emptiness. I see your anguish but I also see the love light that I poured into you at the moment of conception, that perfect love that he is forever chasing, desiring to reignite, and that he will use our weaknesses. They will become his platform, his stage, not for us, but for him to shine through us. So on to the readings for today. The first one is 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Um, in this one, this is when we're going from earthly kings to the king of kings, and we are looking for a leader of nations. This is when Saul is the leader, and our heavenly father, God has rejected him as the leader. And so he sends Samuel the prophet out to find. He sends him to the house of Jesse, but he says to Samuel, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by appearances. I will let you know when it is the one that, that is chosen. And this is when he chooses David, the youngest son, the one who is a shepherd up in the fields. And as each son, you know, big, older, burlier, more mature men come before him, the sons of Jesse, God's like, nope, not him. Nope, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by his stature. Don't be fooled by his outward appearance. I know this man's heart, the heart of David. So then it's like none of these sons, none of these sons. And then he's like, Jesse, where's the youngest? And he's like, not him. He's the shepherd boy. He's up in the fields. And he's like, nope, I need to see him. And that's when God, through Samuel, anoints David. David, the least of the brothers. And isn't that interesting how our Heavenly Father works? He goes to seek the heart. And the final reading is Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing can separate us from his love, his presence, and isn't that a gift? So cultivating this stillness, regardless of the external circumstances, cultivating an environment for peace to grow, to receive. All we have to do is believe and receive. The culture says you need to earn, you need to deserve, you need to have this physical outward appearance. And he says, nope, I want your emptiness. I want that empty jar of clay so I can be fully filled. He wants to pour in so we can pour out through our weaknesses and through our cracks. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine. If you've not already subscribed, I invite you to do so. And I know some of you recently are saying you're not finding me even though I'm posting every day. So you might wanna hit that little alarm and then you'll be notified when the videos go live. So y'all have a super blessed day. Thank you for inviting me into your day and into this journey, getting ourselves back into right relationship with our creator and our savior. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.